So I want to <coughs> look at alpha. Is it constant or variable? Variable, no. So what we are discussing? Variable angular acceleration motion. Go back to kinematics. You you did you you come across kinematics of this kind. So here I'll I'll begin like this. What is the initial angular still be zero? Shall I just continue? No need to write that sentence. Uh, there's a variable. angular acceleration so we have to calculate all the things here so first if alpha equal to 2t so what you are going to write as alpha equal to 2t then alpha what you can write d omega by dt then d omega is equal to 2t dt so this will be integrating 0 to omega 0 to t so what is omega now? Equal to 2t square by 2 or omega equal to t square. Then how to get v equal to v equal to r omega. So r t square. So linear velocity will change. Uh, then what about the a, a tangential? So a tangential is what? Equal to r alpha. r is how much? 3. Alpha is how much? 2t so this will be 60 look at the tangential acceleration constant or variable it's in fact variable it's going to vary with the time go this so how to what, what we do we just bring the integration into picture we should not use that equations of motion because alpha is variable so look at the tangential acceleration if alpha varies with the time <coughs> a tangential also should vary with the time Now, what about the, how to calculate the number of revolutions? This one. So, I know omega is a function of time, no? So, this omega further, what we can write it as? d theta by dt. Omega further, what you can, d theta. So, d theta is equal to t square dt. 0 to theta. 0 to t. So theta equal to how much? t cube by 3. Okay, you see now, this is what the the angular displacement. After, at any time you want. So at t equal to 5 seconds, uh, what is the angular displacement? Put t equal to 5 everywhere to get the required thing. And what is the total acceleration vector? Is equal to an square plus at square. Uh, we, we have to calculate a normal, no? I, I'll bring it a normally. A normal equal to omega square r. T square, whole square, r, r is how much? 3. So 3 t to power of 4. You try to see this. Let me substitute all the things. Total acceleration. What about the total acceleration vector? A n a n is how much? 3 t to the power of 4 whole square. A tangential 6 t whole square. So you see this will become t to the power of 8. Huh? So don't get confused here. It can happen. Look at the omega. Omega is a function of time. And what is a normal? Omega square r. So this will become 9 t to the power of 8 plus 36 t square. Now don't get confused with such a high powers. Let it be no problem. Now what about tan beta? Tan beta should be a n by a t. So what is a n? 3 t to power of 4 a tangential 60. So this will be t cube by 2. So here again, again the all, all the same conditions. Huh? Tangential velocity, a tangential, this is a normal, this is a, this is beta. I just gave as a function, alpha, if it is a function of time, this is a method what you are going to apply. It. So it can be constant angular acceleration or variable ang acceleration. So here, <coughs> is it a uniform circular motion? No. Uh, what about the number of revolutions? Again, so the, the, everywhere I'm stressing that number of revolutions. So theta by 2 pi it is. This will be t cube by 6 pi. 
So at any time you substitute, you'll get the number of revolutions. Uh, I'll ask you something, average angular speed, average angular speed, what you're going to do? Average angular speed. So uh, other quantities, let me introduce. Average angular speed or velocity, it doesn't matter. Anybody? Uh, shall I go for this formula? Omega of t dt by integral of dt, and this is the interval of time. Now, what is omega? Omega is a function of time t square. This will be t. So don't cancel out because this is inside the integration. So, this will become t cube by 3. No, no. no. The limit was 0 to t. This will become t square by 3. And look at that average angular velocity. <coughs> how, how do it vary? Some graphs to trouble you. These are the types of questions what you can expect in exam. How the graph will be? The graph is something parabola. We have started like this. Huh? So alpha constant of variable, yes, we can manage. Just is a mathematics. What we did earlier, variable acceleration motion, that we are doing for circular motion, nothing big. Sir, once can you scroll? So this is about the alpha varying with the time. Okay, I'll give next set of problems. Uh, v is equal to beta. So V is equal to say some. I'll just discuss all the ideas. Huh? Really, it will help you a lot. And it is moving in a circular path of radius. Huh? Uh, this is speed of pi.